Hello everyone, welcome to Study Automation. In this tutorial, we will see how we can write documentation for get with parameter. So for that, let's start. So I will copy the same code that we have written for get all books. Let me just copy it and we can paste it here. Now in this one you can see we have API slash books and then we can match with the actual URL. So here we have API books. I'll write so slash and then colon ID will not work. So instead of that we have to use curly braces. So this thing that we will get as a parameter. So we have to use parameter in the input. So just before responses, we can write here parameters, parameters colon, and then we'll write hyphen slash in. This is important. And then we can say path. Whatever data we are getting in path, we will take it as input. And then we can say that uh, name should be the id so this one this id will be available under name after that we can say required is equal to true and then we can say description description equal to numeric id required so this is description that we have given and after that we have to provide the schema what kind of data we are expecting so here we can say we are expecting type equal to integer a schema and then type equal to integer so data should be integer form that's all we need to write here to get the API documentation for get with input so get request by ID so in postman we have we can see if I'll pass the ID let's say ID I am passing here 103 and we can click here we will get one request only one response only the same thing we should get from here so let's save it and we can go into the API let's refresh it now here we can see that we have one more url is created api slash books and then id once i'll click here so i should change the description for this and then you can see now this is used to fetch the data here we have parameters so under parameters now we have id is type of integer and then this should be in the path but if you see the other apis we parameters we don't have any but we don't need any parameters but in this case we need parameters so let's try out and we can give the id 103 and click execute now we can see in response we have 200 and then we get data 30103 mysql data if i pass here 104 click execute then you will see data execute so if you are using swagger then there are two benefits one is you can use it for documentation another one is it is used to send requests and and get the response similar to postman thank you so much